how about some shopping news? Shipwreck, you had a uh, <laughs> Shipwreck really enjoyed this uh, Twitter exchange that GameStop started. Was this was this yesterday or? Yeah, I think it was just yes. Yeah, the uh, maybe two days ago. Twenty seventh. That's yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Okay. Yeah. The so so some uh, Twitter Twitter user posted some pictures of what looks to be a concept GameStop store. Mm-hmm. And it looks like they are getting into a, a LAN type setup where there, there's places to to come and play computer games and play with your friends. And they have like a birthday party area. My favorite, and... my favorite picture is the lonely birthday party, which is just a kid and his mom at an empty. <laughs> right, I'm looking at that right now. <laughs> well, he's got balloons. <laughs> yeah. Have mom, ever... who's go- how, who's going to drink all this soda? It's like one of those pictures where the where the mom posts, "I invited all of his friends to his birthday and no right. one showed up." And then like the police come to his house the next day and let right. him ride in a fire truck or something. Right. right. That's oh, the but... picture that they posted. I I'm pretty sure that that's staged. his friends are play are right. the ones playing it. I computers. know, it doesn't mean I can't but make jokes. His friends are yeah. all trading in their games. <laughs> while, the, while the cake is being served so interesting that GameStop's trying this I can't imagine how you make that profitable um just well birthday uh, parties birthday parties sure I, I mean there's there's places that do this to bring around trucks right yes, yes I yep. see they have we have those. um and that's a business model but it, they're very popular f- in my neighborhood for the for the size company of what GameStop is, it just doesn't seem like that could sustain like a nationwide thousands of these. You don't see thousands, right. of, thousands of GameStop birthday party experience. I mean, they're basically they're basically land centers and party, and it's like a little store. It looks like, yeah, like there's a, a little, small little store. store, a little store action going on there. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, they're trying something. I guess it's throwing something. stuff at the wall, but but beyond that, like just GameStop's uh, media person responding to people in this thread. Well, no, because see, they tweet GameStop tweeted out this. They retweeted this guy's photos who who had the uh, the pictures of their concept store, mm-hmm. and GameStop wrote, "Be careful tweeting pics like this. People might might start to think we know what we're doing," and then of course. Everyone on Twitter decided to let them know that no, we don't think we, that yeah, you know what you're doing at all. And the whole, the whole, even today, I'm looking through this like, yeah, <laughs> fail. They call that a fail, shipwreck. The kids. Yeah, I, I mean, some people were into it. I could see the appeal. Tournaments. Um, I think people get, get into tournaments. You can make money. Can they make money doing tournaments, or is that considered gambling? It could be like a, a skill. like like a a hyper regional esports venue. Yeah, you just say hey, the, you know, every Saturday, every Sunday, you build Saturday, up to like a tournament, like yeah. a bigger tournament. Whatever, something like that. Sure. Get in on that Fortnite uh, craze. The kids like Fortnite. It's it's really hard to monetize this. I don't know. Yeah, well, their scale. Because I mean, everybody has these local places like this. They come and go, right? I I mean there isn't one around here, but you know there is one. There, that, yeah, w- you probably just don't know about. You it. don't know about it, but there's you're, no, there you're certainly isn't one it. in a shopping mall per se that I know about. You know, like a major, like a serious shopping. I mall. I say my closest GameStop is definitely not big enough. But uh... yeah, most of the ones around here would be in. They always go in the like strip malls that are kind of just hanging on. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sad they're, strip they're not, malls. Yeah, the sad strip malls is where these places live because the rent for having a business that's not profitable can sustain that. Like right. it's a hobby. It's not right. really a like it's not really a profitable venture for shareholders to get behind. Although yeah, it, although my GameStop is in a very busy, very popular strip mall. So mm, I don't, know. don't brag. I'm just saying. The oh no! Mall. No, GameStops are oh, yeah. GameStops are in the pop. That, it's that's what I'm saying. It's a shift for for these land. Yeah, yeah, totally. Places they're they're in the strip malls where the Dollar it, Tree it, is. 
where the rent. Yeah, are like cheap. half half of the the strip mall is probably not even vacated. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're vacated. No, uh, opposite of it, yeah, vacated. Is, right, vacated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what um, aching? <laughs> Least I think is the word you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's good. Close. Yeah, it's good. yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, you used to do that for a living, so briefly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Tell you, us about this, the time you sold speakers to Michael Jackson. <laughs> I sold speakers. I didn't sell speakers. He just he came to rent our room and have a video conference <laughs> and drink our water. Whatever. And it, was, and it was too cold. It was bad for his voice. Yep. So, I also saw that some people were saying they might be having retro stores as well. Like what? What, what would be in a retro store? Like old video games but they have old video games in the stores now don't they no they they only have like this generation and last oh, okay because they got to make room for those fun and code. probably we they probably pops, have Wii still. those pops take up so much space right and t-shirts yeah poor gamestop i mean yeah they had a tweet today that said it's actually pronounced games top I wonder if that got a better response than there. <laughs> I think we know what we're doing. GameStop with the fun starts. Uh, and some other shopping news. Yes. At Darwin Loves Devo writes in and lets everybody know that there's the uh, the Doom collection is 20 bucks at Best Buy. And it comes with a $10 mail-in rebate for Doom Eternal. And I believe Doom Eternal comes with a $10 reward certificate at Best Buy. So you can work some magic. Some mail light magic. Rebate. Yeah, mail and rebate doesn't sound that exciting. No, it does not. When, when's the last time you did a mail and rebate for something? I re- I, it's like I can picture myself doing it. And I'm trying to remember what it possibly could have been for. A fax machine. Something dumb, yeah. It could have been a computer. Mm. Like a Dell or a Gateway. Right. So a long, Menards a long time still ago. does this. Yeah. Yeah, Who like does? a Gateway computer. Menards. I don't know what that is. It's a it's a department store, isn't it? It's a hardware store slash a little bit of a Walmart type of thing. No. I think the last time I did mail and rebates was when there was uh what's the name of saying Price Grabber? Yeah. Oh when yeah, Price yeah. Grabber had all of those five dollar rebates for every video game. <laughs> and I was getting like, I don't know, like three hundred dollars a month in, in rebates. <laughs> <laughs> That was that was a pretty good time until they figured out that that was not a good idea. <laughs> right. That there are people who would just keep sending these things in. Right. Right. That was like the the early stages of, of internet deals before companies realized that, hey, we need a person to really think about these promotions before we put them out there. Because if there's a way that they can be exploited, they're definitely going to be exploited. Right. This guy just keeps on sending stacks of rebate forms to us. <laughs> 